had a new permission, and my first find of day, of course, is an axe. Of course. <laughs> you have to have an axe first. Then I found this interesting. It's very shiny. Don't show up, know if it's a... Uh, they used to have like a um, blue clay. Yeah, isn't it? It looks kind of like a homemade brick, but it's a... I don't know. And on the other side is black, wasn't it? Well, right here was kind of... Kind of black and shiny. Yeah. It does kind of look shiny here, too, yeah, in the does. sun. Yeah, it does. It's got a weird... So, hmm. that was an out of that hole. And it's been snowing. Snowing and snowing and... That was about 40. 10 inches, 10 inches down. We got an aluminum zinc noise. It's going 47 up to 53. Well, there it is, sitting right on top of the ground. It is a bell. Yes. Oh, cool. oh that's a pretty little bell. Ah, oh, let's get it over here in the light. Yes. Nice. Nice find. Oh, that's pretty. Nice yeah. shape too. It was just sitting on top of the ground. Yes, sir. Just kicked back the stuff, and there it was. Well, the thing's nice find. clapper's gone, but we'll keep wow, this we'll... one for sure. Yes. Nice find. Good one. Look at this, I just flipped this out of the ground. The most silvery, shiny, pretty button that I've ever found. Looks like a little glass button with a little star shape on the top of it. That is so pretty. I'm so excited. Never found a pretty one like that. That's awesome. Wow. I wonder if I brushed it off, what it would look like. Just found this. Cool, very, very thin light spoon. Sister was wondering if it might possibly be coin silver. It shows a little silver on the on the handle already. We haven't even cleaned it up. This I was kind of chasing that around and finally it popped out. Yep. That's a cool old spoon. It is very. Get you over here in the sun. Yeah. Just popped her out. Nice find. Yeah, very delicate. Way to go. Very, very delicate. Very light. Yeah. Pretty. Yes, nice. We just found this down in the barn area. Really nice, heavy chain. See the nice hook on the end. A little hand forged one. That's a wow. nice, big, very heavy piece of chain. Yep. Logging and taking care of the farm. Yep. This is ringing up kind of a junky signal, five, you know, between five and foil, and but here was a great big old cooking spoon. Look how pointed it is on the end and how long it is. I had to reach right down in them old colonial kettles to give them a stir, and there was a place for it to hang up, be handy, and then found this really nice brass buckle. That's a real nice one. I'm to come out of the ground cool. Mm. Good nice job. Find. Yes. So down in the cellar hole of our new permission, I just wanted to show just how big the cellar hole was. And in the center of it, this is a big center pier where the chimney would have been. And it was really, really big. I mean, that's, that's this is over there, and you can see just see how big it is. It goes over and around through here. measurements are, but it had to have a really big house on it. And this place is probably set here since 1800 at least. It doesn't really have signs of the old split stone, it's just the old field stone foundation, but it's still set here just a square and it's 
I'm standing down in it, it's way over my head. I'm 5'3", so... There's a nice tall cellar. Okay, here are our finds from this new permission. Uh, this around the side appears to be a wheelbarrow rim. An old wheelbarrow and yeah, over on this side you can see where it's hand forged. Uh, a very old lantern. Part of a spoon. Uh, we think this, this is very heavy. We think this is probably one of the covers that would be on very old-fashioned stoves. This nice relic of a door we found down in the foundation. Has a lot of fancy across here. Pretty, pretty nice. And this was a three-axe head day. This, this one looks like it could be just sharpened up and used. This one needs a little more help. And this one here is a very old one that was broken. Looks like it had the wrap around. I don't have any idea what this is. If anybody has any clues, let us know. And the bottom of it looks like it might have some sort of a screw on mechanism. And in this one are some husk tack, uh, buckles, a couple of ox shoes, and a real nice tiny little horseshoe. And there's a found this little piece of pottery that's got a little bit of brown on it. This is a really nice um, horse bit. We're not sure what this one is. If anybody has any ideas, you can let us know. And this is a really, really nice big heavy piece. This would have gone on like a bad door. And the bottom of it still rolls. It would have been rolling along. Yep. And still works. Nice piece. Very good day. Very cold. Snowing. Snowing. <laughs> We're headed home.